In this video, we'll look at multiplying two digits by two digit numbers using the grid method. What I have shown here using these cubes is multiplication that is specifically 12 times 12. 12 times 12. How? There are 12 rows of 12 cubes each or 12 columns of 12 cubes each. How can I break this down to demonstrate the grid method? So that 12 there is made of 10 and 2. So there is 10 and there is 2. Same thing on this side. We'll do 10 and we'll bring down 2. So, what is this made of? There is this square, which is 10 by 10, and that's equal to 100. We've got these two columns in here. There is two lots of 10, but also two lots of 2. And there are two rows of 10 each. How do I show that using the grid method? So 12 is made with 10 and 2. And also the other 12 is made with 10 and 2. So 10 times 10 was 100, this area here. 2 times 10 was 20. And 2 times 2, this area here is 4. 10 times 2 or 2 times 10 is again 20. So all together we've got 100 and 20 and 20 and 4. So 144. So that was the 100 and 20, 120 and another 20, 140 and the 4, 144. So this is how you use the grid method. I'll now do a few more examples. So let's say we've got 45 times 26. So 40 and 5 will be multiplied by 20 and 6. There we go. Now, 5 lots of 20 makes 100. 5 lots of 6 makes 30. 40 lots of 6 or 6 lots of 40 will do by Hiding the zero first, so 4 times 6 is 24. Add that zero back, because when you multiply by 10, you add a zero at the end of the whole number. Now we've got 40 times 20, so we'll hide the zeros. We've got 4 times 2, which is 8. We'll add the zeros back, so that is 800. So all together, this is 800. And 100 makes 900. 900 and 200 is 1140. And the 30, 1170. So just adding these numbers together. And we'll do another one. So let's say um, 58 times. 60. So we do 
50 and 8 will be multiplied by 60 and obviously there is no units so you don't need that or you could just do zero but that makes no difference so let's have a look eight lots of 60 so let's do eight lots of six first which is 48 add the zero back in 480 five lots of six is 30 add the two zeros that makes 3,000. So the answer is 3,480. So this is how you use the great method. We'll now multiply two digit numbers using the column method. So again, the 12 times 12 will be represented in a slightly different way. What I'm gonna be doing is keeping this 12 as it is so the rows will remain the same but i'll split the columns so this is 12 and this is split into 10 and 2. so this all together is made by multiplying 12 by 10 and multiplying 12 by 2. So I'll write that as 12 times 2. So there we have 10 lots of 12 or 10 rows of 12 or 12 columns of 10 each to represent this area here which is equal to 120 so if you look at that what's happened when you multiply by 10 we've we've transferred this zero over here and then we've got 1 times 2 to make 2, 1 times 1 makes 1. So whatever the number was, we just added a 0 at the end. And if you look at this bit here, that is 2 rows of 12 or 12 columns of 2. So that is 2 lots of 12, that is 24. Both together... That make 120 and 24 makes 144. Now, if I put 12 times 12, what would I be doing? I'd look at the units first, so I'll ignore the tens. That's why I'm hiding them with my finger. So I go two lots of two makes four, and two lots of one makes 2. So 2 lots of 12 in other way I've looked at and that's 24 just like this one here. Now I'm going to move underneath to deal now with a 10 so I cross out the unit. Now I'm looking at 10 lots of 12 because 12 is made of 10 and 2. But since when multiplying by 10 we only add a 0 at the end We'll put that zero first and we'll treat this as if it was a one. So one times two makes two, one times one makes one. And that's exactly what we have done in this one here. Now I'm just going to add them together. So four and zero makes four, two and two makes four, and that's one. And together that makes 144. I'll now do a couple more examples using the column method. So if you've got 45 times 53. So again, we start with the units, hide in the tens. Three lots of five is 15. So I'll put five down and one is carried over. Three lots of 
4 makes 12 and the 1 that we had makes 13 just like we did with addition we are coming over lots of the tens now we're finished with the units so we'll look at the tens which the value of is 50 and to make my life easier I'll just put zero down and we'll treat this as a five so five times five makes 25 so five down and two carried over so five times four is 20 and the two makes 22 adding these together five and zero is five three and five is eight one and two is three and there we have two so two thousand three hundred and eighty five let's have a look at another example so let's say we have 86 times 24 so again starting with the units 4 times 6 is 24, so 4 down and 2 carried over, that's the tens, so 4 times 8 is 32 and the 2 is 34. Now we move into the 20, so I'll put the 0 down, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 down and 1 carried over, 2 times 8 is 16 and the 1 makes 17 so we've got 4 6 10 2 2064 in this video we'll use the lattice method so the lattice method is very similar to the grid method let's say we want to multiply 20 4 by 36 so with the grid method we do 20 and 4 times 30 and 6 so creating some grids 2 by 2 because that 2 digits and 2 digits so 4 lots of 30 is 120, 4 lots of 6 is 24, 6 lots of 20 is 120, 20 lots of 30 is 600. So all together we've got 600, 720, 840, 864. Now we'll do... The same multiplication using the lattice method to notice the difference. I will do exactly the same grid. So the fragment 20 and 4, I'll do 2, 4, so it's read as 24 and 3, 6 as in 36 with in, in the same order. And in addition, I'll split these into halves diagonally so I'd put the tens and the units tens and units tens and units tens and units so 4 times 3 is 12 so I'll write it as this because the 1 represents the tens 4 times 6 is 24 6 times 2 is 12 3 times 2 is 6 so what I'm going to do now, I will extend the diagonals, diagonals, so we've got them extended and I'll add all these numbers within the diagonals. So we've got 4 here, we've got 2 and 2, 4 and 2, 6, we've got 1 and 6, 7 and 1, 8 and that is zero so 864 which matches what we had here now why does this work if you look at the order we always start with 
the units. So 6 times the 4 gives you the 24. So 4, but the 2 is carried over, just like in the other method that we looked at. And then we've got here, we've got the tens multiplied by units again tens multiplied by units so we've got them added together which means that it is when you say six here means 60 because there is a four to hold the units place in there and similar idea with this when you've got the tens multiplied by the tens so that makes hundreds as well because this is 800 and you've got units and tens to hold the place. We'll now look at a couple more examples using the same method, the lattice method. So I will do forty-five times 83 so we've got two digits by two so four five eight three three times 5 is 15, 5 times 8 is 40, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 3 is 12. So we'll extend the diagonals we've got 5, we've got 0 and 1 which is 1 and 2 makes 3 4 and 2 is 6 and the other one is 7 and then we have the 3 in that one so 3735 is the answer for this one and we'll do just one more let's take another number so maybe 57 times 46 so make the grid 57 46 there we go 4 times 7 is 28 7 times 6 is 42 5 times 4 is 20 5 times 6 is 30. Now we'll extend the diagonals. We've got 2, 8 and 4 is 12, so 2 down and 1 is carried over. So we've got 2 and 3 is 5 and the other one is 6. And we've got 2 in the last one, so 2622.